What purpose, Jezebelis, do you think the author had for writing this? What purpose? What goal? How are you peeling foods with moods? Let me just read a little. Do you let your feelings show? Who do you love? How do they know? When how you feel is understood, you have a friend and that feels good. What do you think the author's purpose was? How are you feeling? What purpose, what was the author's goal for writing this? Yes. Maybe make people like Trying to make people happy, exactly. What do you think, well, uh, Debuisto? And to maybe entertain us with the rhyming, okay? Good. See, now all the hands go up. So the author makes the author feel great, so he wants you to feel great. That was his purpose. What's the author's purpose for writing this? Like he, wants, um, he wants all the animals to, I mean, no, all the foods to, um, to like, how, how their feelings are. Okay. All right, so here's what I want to do. I want to take these next three minutes to finish up. Okay, and here's how we're going to finish up. We are going to write now our own class definition of voice, what we think voice is. So Mrs. Latham's class definition. Now, what is a definition? It, it's what something... Michael, what's a definition? It's what's it what's it's what something. I forgot the word, but I have a word in my head that a definition is what something means. Where do you look up definitions? Where can you find out where what a word means, Debuisto? In a dictionary. Everyone, repeat after me. No, repeat after me. Listen first. A, A definition, definition is what, is what a, word a word means. Now repeat the whole thing after me. Let me finish first. A definition is what a word means. A definition is what a word means. Where do we find definitions of what words mean? In a dictionary. In a dictionary. So here is Mrs. Latham's class definition, all right, for voice. Voice is, what is voice? We've talked about voice now for two whole class periods. What is voice? Yes? Like, somebody has the same story, but that like, the high, like somebody has a high one and somebody has a low one. And like, like so, so if you, like a boy has like a different like sound of um, high and low. And okay. Like I think he means like happy and serious. Right. I think that right. So you mean that you can say something high or low, right? Meaning you can say it like. Uh, you can say a story in all different ways, but the way you say it is your own voice. voice. Okay, so how are we going to say that? So voice is a way you tell your story. And I have to put in our vocabulary words with your voice. No, we already said voice. Voice is a way you tell your story with your personality, purpose, with your own personality, purpose, and text features. Do you guys think that would be a good? Definition? Yes. All right, and I'm just going to put that there. Okay. All right? So let's.
let's read Mrs. Latham's class definition. Voice is a way you tell your story with your own personality, purpose, and text features. Make sense? Yes. All right, guess what? Now is your time, okay? Mrs. Levine has to go, but when I check in with you on Wednesday, hopefully you will have begun to write your own story. Now, in order to check up on your voice and to see what every, how everyone's voice is different, I have to give you the same thing to write about. So I have to tell you right now what you're going to write about. Right, Mrs. Latham? Good idea. So you are going to write about, you're going to use your own voice and you're going to write about your... You're going to write about your desk. What? And then, after you finish writing about your desk, and we share your stories about your desk using your own voice, using your own personality, purpose, and text features. Text features could be a little picture, right? So, once you're done writing about your desk, Using your own unique voice, Mrs. Levine's going to read you the story by Marty Kelly called The Messiest Desk. <gasps> oh, and I then you'll know, get I to know. read his voice in his story about his desk. Okay? Make sense, Mrs. Latham? Okay, guys? You, so everyone is going to write the same story about your 